we there was a protest right here in New York. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there's protests everywhere. Right. I mean, you yeah, can't absolutely. go down the street now without seeing a protest. Right. Yeah. So uh, uh, we sent actually our own uh, Brittany yes. to to see the protest and film it to see what what's happening at one right, of these right. protests. So uh, this protest was particular because it was on the last day of school, uh, public school here in New York City, and kids and families gathered down the street from our office right in front of immigration uh, to tell ICE that the community will not stand by while families are being torn apart. Let's watch. We are all here in support of 32BJ member Albana and Dochi and all immigrant families fighting to remain together. We're celebrating uh, 32BJ member Albana. She got called in the ICE. Uh, it was potential that she could get deported today, but they allowed her a stay for another year, so she won't have to check in with ICE for another year. To his family, a year of putting something on hold or waiting is not a comforting state. Those are 365 days of uncertainty. 365 days of wondering what happens at the end of the day. We've all come from another country. So when people are saying go back to your country, we're saying we'll go back when you go back to yours first. Right. What brings me out here today is uh, to show support and to just not sit and remain silent. History is going to judge us. History, history is going to say, you know, what were you doing on the day of the Muslim ban when it was upheld by the Supreme Court? President Trump is known to say these things that are xenophobic or Islamophobic, but when the highest court of America actually kind of gives them the green light to continue with these policies, um, it just kind of makes me lose faith in our justice system. Stay clear! Stay clear! Immigrants are welcome here! Please give a warm welcome to our public advocate, Tish James. This has always been a land of immigrants, and my grandparents were immigrants, and I believe that um, we all need to stand together and support the most vulnerable. And we will continue to demand that Congress work towards fixing our broken immigration system. So that was what was happening uh, in New York today, and that was a pretty good job there. Yeah. By, more Absolutely. than a pretty good job. Excellent really job good. by Brittany, yeah. jumping on that and going down the street and seeing what's going on. I do want to remind people that um, on Thursday, June 28th, it's the Women's March, and it's going to be one of the most massive civil disobedience marches, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, they are calling on women from all communities to send on our nation's capital and demand the safety and freedom of immigrant families and children. Um, the women are going to put their bodies on the line to demand an end uh, when they're putting their bodies on the line in terms of a protest, let me make right, it clear. Right. Uh, on the line to demand an end to this administration's zero tolerance policy that automatically criminalizes undocumented immigrants and tears families apart, uh, and to call on Congress to abolish ICE, an agency that is terrorizing our communities mm. every day. Um, these are the pictures. What are these the pictures of it? Oh, these are the pictures from the children oh, in the buses. Wow. I'm having trouble seeing it because I don't have my glasses on. I saw Can you it. go back and put the pictures and kind of describe what you see? Yeah, yeah, to me. So it's um, yeah, they're just you see them just looking really somber in the yeah. buses, but you also see like you could tell it's it's a prison bus. Like they have cages behind it. Look at that little uh, little, little yeah, child. Yeah, a little yeah. child. Yeah, put like that back up. Yeah, those children seem so young. They are yeah. just so. And young. just don't and know what there? what's yeah. going on. You know, like. Uh, it's 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 uh, you could just see it through his eyes. Yeah. Yeah. 
So yeah. anyway, the Women's March wants to put an end to this. Mm. Um, so they're, they've, they're going to take action on June 28th, demanding lawmakers and federal officials do everything in their power to hashtag end family detention. Um, uh, I'm reading here, marching is no longer enough, not when this administration is enacting policies that violently separate families, incarcerate children in detention camps, criminalizes human beings coming into our country in search of safety. Not when we see photos and videos of this child, for sure. Right. Right. Uh, and, and, and by the way, there's thousands of children, maybe Better, more, who yeah. knows, separated from their families and held in child prison, even to this day. Uh, when you see cries from their parents, cries from their children, the fear, the trauma, you never get over this. Right. Yeah. You exactly. never, you never yeah. get over this. So uh, if anybody is interested, please go look uh, on the web at uh, www.endfamilyseparation.us. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking that maybe we should send somebody down from Bradshaw Live to cover that. I think it's going to be important. Yeah. So, uh, DC. Yeah, we'll have to talk about that after. Yeah. We may have to go on a road trip and cover that one. Definitely. We'll see. Road trip it in. Yeah.